Guys, how does it feel? You're number one in the nation. Um, it feels good, but we're gonna stay level-headed and humble about it, and just continue what we've been doing. Obviously, it's not the end goal for you guys, but is it a nice kind of affirmation of the progress you've made so far? Yeah, of course. I mean, you're number one in the country. It's nice to see it, but I mean, anybody can get knocked off, and you see a lot of changes throughout this whole week and last week and stuff like that. So, gotta keep doing. It for someone like yourself who has won a national championship. What do you tell some of the younger players to realize we might be number one, but in reality, we still haven't accomplished any of our goals? Um, This is what we've been doing. Just We got to stay what we've been doing and stay uh, just level hell, like I said. And um, hey, we got to take it game by game. You can't overlook anybody. Zaya, does this change anything or in, in the way you think about this team? Are you excited about it? Or are you? Um, I'm very excited, but it doesn't change anything for me. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to keep working and continue to be humble. Do you think you and the other freshmen will stay fairly level-headed about this and just kind of keep working hard? Of course. Yeah. Any messages from your family when the number one ranking came out? <laughs> just congratulations. That's about it. What about you, Ty? I saw you chuckle a little bit. <laughs> Same thing. Congrats. That's it? Yeah. That's it. I mean, it's basketball. I mean, everybody gets a chance to do it. and um. You, at any given night, we can get knocked off, so we got to keep grinding. Ty, you guys are scoring at a really high level right now. What are you guys doing right to get this offense going? Um, I think we just – everything that we do in the game, we stimulate in practice, and I think uh, that carry over. And also our defense. Our defense creates offense for us. I've had some people tell me that you, when they, when they see you out on the court, they can see a Dawn Staley as a college senior out on the <laughs> court. Do you feel like – you're adhering to the way she played and kind of trying to follow in that direction? Um, Hopefully, but to be honest, I didn't watch her in college. I, I was probably too young at the time. <laughs> nah, but uh, I, I watched her WNBA highlights and stuff like that, yeah. but uh, it would be great to be kind of an extension of her when she was that young. Zaya, you've been on a little bit of run of late as well, kind of after a little bit of a rough patch. What's been kind of the difference for you? Um, for me, I've just been staying in the gym, you know, uh, studying basketball, not just in the gym, but outside of basketball, off the court. So that's been the main thing for me, just off the court, studying the game instead of just thinking I have to get shots up. I had to learn the game a little bit. This might be tougher to answer with Ty standing next to you, but how has Ty helped you in your development so far this season? She's, helped me. <laughs> she's actually helped me a lot, especially like with my passing and just to be calm. Like she's taught me how to be calm and with my passing and just become a leader. So when she leaves, I want to, you know, take take her lead. Aww. Ty, we've seen this year how teams get to be number one and mm -hmm. then, you know, there's a loss here and there mm -hmm. and stuff. I mean, last week, the yeah. top three teams lose. Do you worry about that? Or even if you guys lose down the stretch, I mean, I guess it's still all about the tournament and how far um, you can go there, isn't it? Well, we're not really on social media, so we try to stay off of that. Yeah. Just try to stay away from all that and just focus on us and see how far that takes us. Ty, you're almost at 600 career assists. What does that milestone mean to you? And how does it compare to, say, 1,000 points that you also got? Um, it's amazing. Uh, I joked last year about it, how Asia took all the uh, records and stuff like that, but this one's for me. <laughs> it's up the grass for me. Uh, my freshman year, I didn't think I would actually get it, but now that I'm here, I'm ready to accomplish it. What is it, 17 more? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything else, Mr. Nathan? Yeah, Ty, in your four years here, how have you seen, it uh, feels like the, almost a rivalry is kind of mm -hmm. forming with Missouri now the last couple of seasons. How have you seen just the relationship between these two teams forming in your four years here? Um, I think it's a rivalry with every team in the SEC, not just only them. Uh, we all play hard. We all have something to compete for. And um, I mean, it's just good. It's good for the game just to have rivalry and compete. So in that aspect, I mean, yeah. Zaya, so, have they told you anything about this Missouri kind of mm -hmm. rivalry? Just as as anything? Um, no, they just told me like they play hard, they're very aggressive, so we just got to be ready for that. So that's pretty much it. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.